mind and we're caring and that we take care of one another and that the world is united so that we feed each other and make sure that you know we, we all move forward as as one collective whole unit so you know we feel the pain of, of one country's failure and their conflicts and we enjoy the successes of, of other countries that are doing good and, and we all work together and for some reason Russia does not grasp this concept that we're we're all one unit and we have to get along and work together and 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 be normal human beings. This is 2022. We have to work together. It's it's it seems asinine that we have a, a leader in a country that does not understand the concept of of being unselfish and being generous and being kind and just the basic moral values that, that are required by human beings these days. It blows my mind. And um, what are you doing here in Ukraine? Uh, my initial goal was to come and fight. I think you know everybody around the globe should be motivated to come here and support the Ukrainians and support the army, no matter what gender, age, anything. Everybody should be here supporting the army. But I'm 56, so initially they're like, well, I have no military experience, so they're like, you're not an ideal candidate. So they said, not right this minute. So plan B was to come here to Kiev and promote getting more people here. You know, we need thousands and thousands and thousands of people here fighting with the Ukrainians. We need, we need, you know, we've got 190 countries around the world, and we need thousands from from all of them. If we, if, we, if the governments will not send their official military then we civilians have to pick up the torch and make this thing happen. And we've gotten some wonderful people here, but it's a small fraction of the number that should be here. If we have 5,000 you know, to, to 10,000 people here fighting, you know, that is just a minuscule amount of the 5 billion people on the globe. You know, we need everyone here fighting. That's, that's why I'm in Kyiv. So uh, every project that I promote is about getting people over here to support the Ukrainians. We were at a critical juncture in this war where we are sitting on the fence as far as whether good or evil is going to win. You know, right now we're looking at a situation where the world is, is waning and it's, and it's it, thinking that this is important or not. And we're at a point where, you know, all right, are we going to stand for humanity, for human rights, for, for everything that, that, that is good with the world? Or are we just going to ignore it? You know, if we if, if everybody is complacent and doesn't join this 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 fight, then guess who's going to win? It might take ten years, but we're going to lose this battle if everyone around the globe does not stop what they're doing, and get off the couch, and come to Ukraine and, and defend defend the human rights of everyone around the globe. This is the most important thing going on in the world today. So sitting around and letting life go on as normal and complaining about gas prices and complaining about you know your luxury life in whatever country you live in is unacceptable as human beings we must support each other we cannot turn our backs on anyone around the world and expect the problem to go away so i've been dealing with russia for my entire life you know we had one period where it was okay but now we've let it slip slip back into into terror, terrorism. So it's just the world needs to respond. You know, the, why world leaders are not sending military is beyond me. We're going to have to elect new leaders the next go around that have a backbone and that, you know, have the fortitude to say, hey, we're not going to tolerate this type of behavior. This type of behavior is unacceptable anywhere, anywhere, any place, you know. So it's just, it's, it's totally unacceptable. And, and why people are not responding, I, I do not know. What uh, impressed you the most since you are here? Uh, my trip to Irpin was, was pretty emotional. So, you know, going and seeing the buildings that were burnt, burned and, and, and destroyed and things of that nature. I think more emotional for me is also is just talking to the guys that have come here. You know, when you talk to a 20-year-old <clears throat> guy that sold everything he owns to come here and fight, that is heroism. You know, he's coming here to risk his life for humanity, for the Ukrainians. You know, guys that sell everything they own to come here and support the Ukrainians while others sit at home and, and, and do nothing. You know, it's, it's totally mind-blowing how we have this divide 
of people that are selfless and courageous and wonderful and willing to sell everything they own to come here and support, you know, you know, keep people from getting killed, to shelter kids and, and protect Ukrainians and others that just, you know, want to sit at home and not. It's just, it, it you know, it's an indictment of our entire human society to say, hey, you know, where do we stand? Do we do we stand for for good, or or do we just not care? I mean, does the does the world not care? That's that's the feeling that I, I wrestle with every day, every day in my interactions with everybody. You know, every one of us is responsible for the outcome of this war. Every one of us, you know, by our actions and what we do. And you know, when I call back home and say, hey, I need five bucks so I can you know put some enough money together to get a vest for a Ukrainian, and and I get no response, I'm like. I'm not sure that the world is as wonderful as I once thought it was. I had thought that everyone would respond, you know, very generously and unselfishly and, and you know, you don't have to come, but, you know, if I ask for $5 to buy a vest, vest to save a Ukrainian life, uh, it seems like that would be a no-brainer, but I, I, I increasingly get more disappointed in, in humanity, and I'm beginning to question whether or not we're going to end up on the right side of this equation. So you are working with the international legion, yes, and uh, you are trying to convince people to help, to donate, and to join. Yeah, yeah. Um, my final uh, question is: What would you say to the people in order to convince them to join uh, the international legion, or to donate for it, or to be involved in uh, in the humanitarian aid to Ukraine? Right, right. Uh, it's ex just extremely important, the whole thing. As far as joining the military, you know, yes, if you have some military experience or know people with military experience, encouraging them to come and fight. We have units all over the place. So, you know, there were some leadership issues initially, but we've got so many units available to us, Georgian, Crimean, uh, Ukrainian, Territorial Defense, Foreign Legion. We have you know, so many paramilitary groups. I can put, I put a 74-year-old Japanese guy in a unit. So, you know, we have girls in units. So we have two, two girls that are in, in the unit up the street. So any gender, any age, any skill level to no skill level. But yeah, if you, if you want to fight, come here and see me and, and I'll put you in a unit so you can go fight. But regardless of that, we should have thousands upon thousands of people standing here with the Ukrainians. This, this, Maiden Square, Independent Square, we should have millions of people in this square, filling this square from every country around the world. And why we don't, I don't understand. I'm here every day with all the flags from all the supporting countries, with the memorials for the people that have died. And, you know, I've had several people come, but just a handful, you know. So it's, it's, it blows my mind that I'm standing here alone without thousands of people from every country, from Asia, from Africa, from Australia, from from Canada, from everywhere in South America, every every place. I'm, yeah, I'm Europe. Pretty, yeah, yeah, Europe, everywhere. We need everybody here. You know, if you have no skills, just just come. You know, we need to we need to be cheerleaders. Just being here and saying, hey, I support the Ukrainians and I support human rights and I support uh, good and 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 generosity and caring and kindness yeah. and altruism and it's just. You know, we, we need to show the world that we care. And it's, it's, it's essential. You know, if you don't do any work at all, just being here and supporting and, and showing them that, that we care, we care for our fellow human beings is, is, is the most important thing we can do.